Hi, I am Life Coach Latricia Booker here with Kingdom Business, where we are empowered, where we heal, get delivered, and free. Where we know who we are, we elevate our minds and our spirits, raise and expand our consciousness to ultimately walk in our true divine purpose, the truth of who we really are and why we were created. Why are we here? So in this video today, I want to talk to you about doing this and prepare yourself for your breakthrough. Do this and prepare yourself for your breakthrough. So what is your breakthrough? Your breakthrough is that very place in your life, that very thing that's happening, ultimately in a spiritual realm to manifest itself in a physical realm that you're being waiting for, that you're being working for, that you're being laboring in, that you're being doing the work to get a certain outcome. That's for your better. That's for your good to ultimately walk you into further purpose, take you further down your path. You've been doing the work. You've been doing what's needed. You're being taking instructions and learning and growing. And now you're at a place where you're right at your breakthrough. In fact, your breakthrough is happening. Now, when we're in a place of where we are in the midst of our breakthrough, we have to prepare ourselves. And so in preparing ourselves, what I've come to learn is we have to be at a place where we're able to deal with life as it comes. And what do I mean by that? Different things happen in life. And many a times, most times, oftentimes, pretty much always, when you're in a process or in the midst of a breakthrough, and I'm going to say if wealth is attached to it, if you're doing something where God is leading you to do some work that will ultimately help people. And when I say help, I mean help elevate their minds and their spirits, help them get free, help them heal, even help them um, get their wealth, changing their mindset from a poverty stricken mindset to a wealth mindset and doing the work, vibrating on the right frequencies and aligning with what it is that they're desiring or what it is that they are here to do to ultimately manifest it. That's the breakthrough. And so what, we, what I've come to learn is when you're in the midst of a breakthrough, all kind of things start to go, go haywire. All kind of people start to go crazy, including your loved ones. Now, again, usually this happens when your breakthrough is attached to helping people to better their lives, helping people to be free, to be healed, all those kind of things that bring people higher into their higher selves as far as who they truly are in God or who God truly is in them, who they ultimately are, who God created them to be. And so we have to know how to deal with unpleasant situations and circumstances and people in a mild manner. In other words, you know, we can't be too responsive to certain things because what happens is these things are going to come and they really heighten when you're in your breakthrough. And what happens is it's an indication and letting you know of what's going to happen when you cross over, when you actually receive your breakthrough, when you get to the other side. People are going to be crazy with you. And that includes your loved ones. Again, this is particularly the case when your purpose is to help people improve their lives. When your your purpose is to help people heal, to overcome things spiritually, mentally, emotionally, physically, and yes, financially. So preparing for this includes getting yourself to a place, which means you have to continuously be doing the inner work. You have to continuously and always be in a place of healing because life is going to happen. Now, the key is to move swiftly as possible 
through unpleasant circumstances. Because the truth of the matter is, when we have certain events that happen or transpire or certain things that come up, especially where it relates to our loved ones, it may affect us in a certain kind of way. If someone is behaving towards us in a nasty manner, things coming from nowhere, you know, <laughs> and it's just crazy and people that you love are misbehaving with you, so to speak, it may affect you initially somewhat. Now, I've learned that the key is to process it because you may feel something and move through it as swiftly as possible. As, mo as fast as possible. The reason why I say that is because you have to be careful not to dwell on it. And again, preparing for your breakthrough where this is concerned is where these things are going to happen. And the ba better um, prepared and the better, the, the, the better that you handle it can determine how prepared you actually are for your breakthrough. What I mean by that is sometimes you have to be detached. Not sometimes, most times. And again, even with your loved ones, in life, we've had these relationships. In this society, we do have these attachments, which are not necessarily always good, but it's just the way we've been programmed and the way we've learned, the way we learn to exist. However, sometimes that's, most times that's not the best thing. Connections are the more proper things. Attachment is a little dysfun on a dysfunctional side. And so I'm saying all that to say many times we have to detach. We have to sometimes detach from the outcome of certain things. We have to detach because when things come upon us and certain things are happening so it won't hurt us so deeply, we have to be detached. Now, that does take work. You have to practice that. You have to do the work to do that. And there's some study and an understanding you have to know so that you can do it the proper way. And I don't mean by just suppressing your feelings and emotions. That's not it. Properly dealing with your feelings and emotions, but moving swiftly through it in a detached way. And again, one of the one thing that helps you to do this is knowing that these things are going to come. And we have to remember and understand that when we're walking into our purpose and we're receiving breakthrough, there's a demonic force that doesn't like it. And so it works through circumstances. It works through people who have open doors and to upset us and to take our peace and throw us, ultimately, to throw us off our course so we won't continue in the work that God is moving us into so that we won't, won't continue to proceed to receive our breakthrough. Because many a times when you get thrown off, which is why it's so careful, so important to be careful that you're not thrown off, we interrupt the breakthrough. And so what I'm saying is, we have to know that things are going to happen and we have to be prepared to deal with that properly so that we can receive our full breakthrough. And again, that means detaching some, knowing that even though some people are our loved ones and they're behaving in an unpleasant, inappropriate manner, we have to create distance. We have to detach because What's happening with them is not good for you. It's not healthy. It's not even, um, it doesn't even serve your purpose or what you're doing. In fact, it's something that's trying to keep you from doing what you're doing. And I don't want to focus too much on the people, but I want to, we have to remember that it's a force and it's a spirit that works behind that, that works through people, again, who have open doors to be used by the demonic forces, which many would call the devil, Satan, the enemy. Okay, I'll go with it. But again, I like to say the demonic forces because usually Satan ain't necessarily involved in that moment because all Satan does is plant seeds. And when you have open doors and you something triggers in a person, you know, where you're concerned or whatever, maybe sometimes it ain't got nothing to do with you, but they just use you as a target because you right there or whatever. But the point is to properly pre prepare for your breakthrough, you have to be prepared 
to deal with unpleasant circumstances and people. And I emphasize that because I know how it is to not want to deal with unpleasant things. I'm, I'm, I'm that way. And so in my life, I do make a, a on purpose attempt to minimize issues and problems and problem people in my life. I do it on purpose. However, I've learned that it's still going to be things simply because of who I am and where I'm going and what I'm doing. You know, how they like to say the devil ain't going to let you just walk into your stuff. It's not going to be so easy and peachy cream. So we have to be prepared to deal with that properly because we never want to respond in a negative manner. We never want to engage. We never want to engage anything that's trying to engage you in a negative manner. You know, the scripture that comes to mind for me concerning this is, Stand ye therefore in the liberty wherewith Christ hath made you free and be not entangled again with the yoke of bondage. And so the whole idea is that you, you're free. So you have to stand in your freedom. So when these things come, because it's the yoke of bondage, because pe when people come at you in those ways, they're in bondage. That's the form of bondage. And they're trying to entangle you. It's like they say when misery, misery loves company, so to speak. I don't know if this is the best example, but people that are where they are and they see you as somewhere else or going somewhere else, they tend to try to entangle you with where they are because they don't want to see you move forward in where you're going. They don't even like many times where you already are. And then you have the nerve in their mind to be trying to elevate and move forward. So they would do things because that's where they are. They operate in the lower vibrations. They operate in fear. Um, jealousy, envy, depression, um, you know, all of the loneliness, you know, unhappiness, sad, all those not so nice things. And when you're operating for the most part in higher frequencies, which is love, bliss, peace, joy, happiness, you know, those kind of things, the people that are in the lower registries in the yoke of bondage will try to engage you in the lower yoke of bondage. And so that's the idea, be not entangled again with the yoke of bondage. Because you may have before. You may have gotten free. And even in then, you may have moments. But even in your moment, be not entangled again with that. That's how you stay free. And so I'm saying all that to say, that's how you prepare for your breakthrough. Knowing that ahead of time, you can't entangle with the yoke of bondage. Sometimes you have to literally ignore people. You might have to cut people out of your life. You know, if you realize that it's just not working. Now, I want to say this. I've seen situations where God do bring people together. But one person, or maybe both, but in many cases, one person is doing the wrong thing. With what God is doing because they've been shown something, they see something, they know a person is there to do something for them, but they don't get in what way. And so they start operating in their own way, trying to make things happen on their own. And then they get out of alignment with what God is doing. And then they begin to try to do things on their own. And it messes up the whole thing. And sometimes that other person has to remove themselves from them if they realize they're out of alignment even though they know God brought this situation together. And so the other part of that is, again, sometimes you have to cut off relationships. And I'm not going to say that you're not going to feel something and it won't hurt. But you have to feel the feelings, go through your process, and move through it as swiftly as possible so you can stay focused on your course. Again, I'm bringing this up to say these things are bound to happen. They're going to happen. And you have to be okay with that if you want to receive your full breakthrough in order to prepare for your breakthrough so you can get to that other side. You have to be okay with this. You have to be okay with if I have to separate or not be have to cut how they will have to separate or whatever distance myself from my child 
my mother. And I'm not saying that that's the case with all people, you know, but I'm saying things happen. You have to be okay with separating from certain people if certain things begin to happen where the relationship is not good or something is happening on that end that is not, well, they're trying to hinder what you're doing. But they're hindering what you're doing or even trying to pull from you, use you, because that happens too, especially when you're walking into a wealthy place. You know, and sometimes they start doing it before you even fully walk into it. And you have to pay attention to that because they're showing you what they're going to do if you get over there. And sometimes you have to stop it right there unless you communicate some things with them and they understand and they stop the behavior. And it don't mean that you can't do certain things for them, but there has to be an understanding. There are boundaries. And you have to communicate them. And there has to be an understanding of that. They have to respect that. And so I want to mention this as well, how preparing for your breakthrough also is a thing of, as I just said, knowing who's who and what's what. Because people are already showing you some things and you have to pay attention to that. Recently, I've been confronted with red flags. Pay attention to red flags. And my question kind of be, okay, what to do with them? You know, because, you know, I'd be quick to just say cut them off, but that's not always the case. Sometimes you have to address some things, you know, and also in preparing for your breakthrough, you have to be careful that, again, certain people, you may be assigned to certain people to do whatever it is that God have you to do with them. Now, you the other part of that is, you want to make sure that you're helping them and they're not just like, for instance, I'm going to give you an example. If someone is constantly coming to you for money, you're not helping them by constantly giving them money. Your purpose in their life may be to help them elevate their mind and their spirits, change their mindset from poverty, poverty stricken to wealthy or whatever it is, just even educating them on a financial thing so they can do better with their own finances and earn more income. Your place in their life may be just to show them the way. And that's really helping them. It doesn't help somebody to be constantly handing them money to get them out of their situation, but you really help people and you empower them when you help them improve themselves, their own minds, so they can improve their own lives and elevate themselves. That's real help. So I'm saying that to say that's part of preparing yourself for your breakthrough, knowing this ahead of time so you won't get caught up in situations. Now, there are always exceptions, and that's not always the case, but you have to be able to discern the difference and know what's what. So it's just something to pay, pay close attention to, to be aware of, to know ahead of time ahead of time so that you can receive your full breakthrough. And so once you receive your full breakthrough, well, you're going to receive your full breakthrough once you're prepared for it. And some of these are ways to prepare for it. You have to know ahead of time because God is not going to get you over to this other side and mess you up. So we can that warn you and show you what you're walking into. He's warning and showing you so you can say whether or not, okay, I still want my breakthrough because some people don't want to, again, take on the responsibility of dealing with certain things and dealing with these things mean properly handling them. So I hope that makes sense. I hope this helps somebody and I would do be doing more videos on this very topic or you know around and about this very topic because it's something that's been heavily on me and I feel really led to talk about this right now um and so yeah and it's very personal for me right now and many a times that's the best place to pull from that's the best place to speak from in the midst of why you're working through it sometimes anyway you guys I'm gonna wrap this up and so if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. Please click, click on that red subscribe button. Subscribe to my channel, please. 
click on that bell right next to that red subscribe button so that you will receive a notification every time I upload a new video. And you can also connect with me on Facebook at Latricia Booker. And you can also connect with me on Instagram at Latricia Booker too. You can connect with me on Twitter at Kingdom Business 9. That is Kingdom Business with one S and the number 9. And so you guys, that is my time. So I am out. Peace.